Hey everyone, in this video here I just want to go through some uh, some of the other different backup options um, for WordPress. Okay, one um, involves exporting the SQL um, from the MySQL database, so the WordPress database. And the first step, you want to get into the PHP My Admin. A lot of times you can just go to the control panel for your hosting account, scroll down until you find databases, click on PHP My Admin. It should jump in a new window. Once you're there, you select the, um, on the left side, you'll choose from a list of all the tables, or you might see a drop down list like I have here. And then you choose, I'm sorry, not tables, databases. You select the database that you want to work with. And as soon as you click on it, then you'll see a list of all the tables within that particular database. And as soon as you see that, across the top, look for the export tab, click on that, and just do a quick export um, unless you have a reason to go through the custom and click on go and then you'll end up with a file um, on your computer that can later be imported um, using the import command here and then you just click on choose file locate the file that you previously exported when you're restoring the backup and then um, scrolling down click on go so that's one way and then there's another way where there's a method that's actually built right into WordPress and All you really have to do, um, log into the WordPress dashboard, click on Tools, and then Export, and then decide what it is you want to export um, if you want to choose all content. And here's a list of what gets exported right here. Um, you can get post pages, comments, custom fields, categories, tags, navigation menus, and custom posts, or you can just select individual options here, and then click Download the Export File. And if the need arises where you need to import it, you click on Tools, and then Import. You choose which option here, which would be WordPress in this case. And since this is the first time, I'll just click on Install now to install the importer. I'm going to click Activate. So it's, an, it's a plugin that gets installed. Activate plugin and run the importer. Now I can choose the file that I previously exported, and then click on up, Upload File and Import. And that's it. So that's two other methods um, for for backing up and restoring the uh, the data in WordPress. Thanks for watching.